Cromedies who bought the house have packed up and left, driven away by an onslaught of tourists and pranksters who still continue to come and gawk, not fooled by the now changed address out in front. And why did you come by tonight to look at this house? To see what that book was all about and everything about the house, the way it looked, and all the things that people say about it. Oh, we just wanted to see what it was like. I guess we just specifically came from Chicago to see it. All right, so someone out here mowing their lawn, so it's a little loud, but I've made it to the Amityville house. Today, police combed the DeFeo's handsome three-story house for clues while divers explored the backyard swimming pool for the still unfound murder weapon. Police have been questioning the son, Ronald, and now say he is being, quote, safeguarded. What about Ronald uh, DeFeo, the son, the surviving son? Ronald is being safeguarded by the Suffolk, Suffolk County Police at this time because the six members of the family dead, and we don't know why, and he's the sole remaining member. There it is. Originally 112 Ocean Avenue, it is now 108 Ocean Avenue, they changed the address. Right up there would have been Ronnie DeFeo's room, and right down here would have been the parents' room where he shot and killed the family. There it is, the Amityville house. <laughs> the local Yeah. The locals do not like it. Someone just yelled at me while driving by. <laughs> they do not like it. So I have to yell over it. This is it. I'm gonna step in the street and get a little closer. So right here would have been the door you see on all the news clips. There it is, the Amityville house. It's like Erie standing in front of it. walk around the house so we get a good video Somebody lives in there now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> so they changed out the half moon windows to replace them with these and made it a little different so people would stop coming by but it's changed nothing. Six people uh, were killed in a, an awful uh, mass murder. God knows, it. it's got to be awful in a small town on Long Island. The town is called Amityville. The murders took place in this house. One year later, George and Kathleen Lutz bought the house, and they moved into it with their three children. After living there for 28 days, they were convinced the house was possessed by some kind of, uh, of evil force, and they left their belongings, and they fled, and they were really terrified. The events that supposedly took place there during those 28 days have been uh, have been put down in a best-selling book. It's called The Amityville Horror, and there is now a movie out, or about to come out, of the book. George and Kathleen Lutz are with us this morning to talk about what happened during those 28 days in Amityville. The book and the movie depict all these kind of weird, strange things that happened in the house during those 28 days when you were there. What kind of things, George, happened physically? What were some of the things that happened that scared you? Well, at first, just moving into the house was fine. It's a lovely house. Yeah and we enjoyed moving in. Uh, within a week, Kathy's hand had been touched by something that we discussed and couldn't explain. It was just something unseen. Okay. We also had uh, hordes of flies that would appear within two rooms, and no matter how many times we would kill them, they would reappear. All right, now flies can be a real problem in this part of the country in the summer, sure. in any house, you know. But if you have two or three or four within one room, that could be commonplace, but when you're talking over a hundred... Right. Well, this was the winter. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you're talking about how many? Over a hundred Over a hundred flies. one time, and then you'd go around and kill them. They'd be lying on the floor. You'd come back an hour later, and they would be there, more of them. 
Okay. There's okay. something about green slime. What was that on the wall in the movie? There's green slime comes out of the walls. As the movie did it, not exactly. No. Yeah. It was more of uh, a gelatin kind of substance that we thought the children had somehow mixed something up and, and spilled it around the house. The okay. next time it happened, the kids were at school, and there was just no way to explain how it got there. So right here is B&B &B fish and clam. This is where Ronnie DeFeo, after killing his family, ran into to tell everyone that he found the family dead. This used to be a bar, had a different name at the time. He came, he opened the door and he was screaming, come on, help me, somebody shot my mother and father. And everyone ran out of the bar and that was it. They all took go? off. No, I had to stay, I was tending more. They all jumped in his car and took off. That used to be right down the block, so if you went down the street this way and turn right here at this driveway, you would end up at Ocean Avenue. <laughs>